Good afternoon, everyone. It's nice to be here again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, in the past, I've talked to, you know, atheists, agnostics, and so forth and so on. And there's always the conversation about faith and evidence and, and, and even evolutionary, per uh, evolutionary persons. Yeah, people who are into evolution. Obviously, I am not. But, you know, as I look around the world today, well, I'll just say not the world, but our, our country right here. In the United States of America as it is currently. I tend to not understand the same people who talk about evidence. They need evidence and, and they, they just can't have faith. Okay, well let's take that. The camera's a little off. I apologize. My camera's a little messed up here. Um, let's take that theory. You, let me ask you this. Are you ready to have faith in and some might say to me, yes. And some might say, no. Okay. Why not? For those who are not ready, why not? Why? And you go, I just, I, I, I can't believe. I, 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 I need evidence. Okay. Do you, you have the evidence around you in the world that things are failing? The system is failing. Absolutely failing. You have all the evidence around you. You have data like you couldn't believe. The numbers are astronomical. Crime rates going up, and in, in, let's be honest, right now it's uh, the majority of that is in democratic cities. The evidence is there, and yet you still have faith because you'll hold on to your hatred of one man and vote for another. So therefore, evidence means nothing in that particular case. So you're you're willing to forego the evidence that is destroying the nation and in many cities and towns. You're willing to forego evidence in favor of hatred. So you're going to have faith that somehow the same thing that's been happening in those cities for 40 to 50 years consistently somehow is just going to change? No, it's not. So let us have faith in Jesus. Let's have faith in God. Because that's consistently turned out pretty good. So I'm sure somebody out there will maybe even cut this up or mock it or whatever. That's fine. But I can tell you this. I have no faith in the system that keeps on failing. Because the evidence tells me it doesn't work. But many people seem to keep having faith in that system even though the evidence is in front of them. So therefore you can't tell me all things in your life are based on evidence because you have the evidence. You just don't like the evidence. See, I think that's what happens to some. It's not about having faith. They don't like the evidence because it doesn't as I'll use a term that we use now a lot now doesn't fit the narrative and that becomes the problem I had a conversation with someone one day about morals I didn't actually bring it up actually um, this person said I, they couldn't believe anyone with morals could vote for President Trump I found that interesting because if you're looking to any politician for morals you're already lost your spiritual guidance, your moral compass should not be dictated by who you vote for. In my opinion, you should be voting for the economy, jobs, people who are looking to help the area. Not only of which you live in, but the country you live in. If you're voting on morals, I made a joke to that person. I think most politicians sign a waiver before they first get elected that foregoes all their rights to morals. Because how many have them? Even your great presidents that you consider great. I just pulled in this parking lot and I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Like Reagan. You think he was a complete moral human being? No. No, he was not. Kennedy? Come on. No, not, not even close. Trump? No, Lord, no. 
I don't find him to be the most moral person in the world. Absolutely not. Bush, no. Nope. We can go through the whole list. Lincoln, I don't think he was the most moral person that's ever existed on the face of the planet either. So, what are you voting for? If you're voting for morals, you should never, ever vote ever, ever again in your entire life, I would say. All right, well, maybe your local officials. But as your, your morals, you say, outweigh things. Well, that's interesting because the same people who have say that are ones who say, don't push your morals down my throat and your religion. Well, then I'm confused. I don't think your moral compass is all there. Oh, am I, I, oh I'm judging, I guess, uh, someone will say. But don't look to your politicians for your moral compass. That makes no sense. Your politicians you should be electing are those who are based on, and some, well, if they care about your economy and, and, and they care about uh, um, education, then they have morals. It's not true. The economy is money. More money in our economy, the more money can, people have the potential to make. The more more kickbacks that uh, gov uh, government officials can get on both sides of the aisle. Yes, right now the majority of corruption is Democrats with many Republicans. But don't get it twisted because eventually you can't trust either side. There are only, and I've said it before a million times. Okay, a million might be an exaggeration. But this is the only thing that's going to stand with you. That's it. So, forego your morality when you vote. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, Christians are like, don't do that. I, you know what I meant. I mean, obviously I vote with morals, but I vote for those who I believe will do the best for this country. In, in when it comes to economy and taxes and all that. My soul? That's what I turn to. I don't turn to Trump. Biden. Any movement that's going on out there. Or church building. So, I would separate those two. Because they just don't work together. People, oh, there's been many Christian uh, politicians. Who? I, I would actually argue with you if you were truly born again and uh, saved, you wouldn't be a politician. I'll have that argument. Trust me, because I flirted with the idea of local representative, which maybe you can pull off. Um, y y you end up trading one for the other. And I'm not willing to trade my soul. I'm not willing to trade the Bible. No, I'm good. I'll just put in the time, toil with my hands as long as my, I, I must. I didn't want to make this video too long. I just felt like talking about that today. I just want to get that out there. Just a guy in a truck driving around saying what I got to say. I appreciate you tuning in as always, because I am very thankful I think I have 75, 76, 76 subscribers. I'm happy with every one. I'm fine with 76. I'm not worried about getting more, monetizing my videos to make more money. Not off the, not off God, not off Gospels. Nah, that's not the way to do it. You can't serve both man and mammon. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. God bless. I love you and have an awesome day.